Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolvek. Today I'm gonna speak about one of the most underrated perk in the world. Maybe the most... Maybe I'm gonna do a couple episodes on that subject, but right now we're gonna speak about one perk. This perk I've been testing it during like around three weeks. Uh, I dropped this great axe uh, into the PvP track. And I have a similar one on my other account. Uh, on my other account, I was using the Keratin Great Axe with Rogue, Crippling Reap, and uh, Kini Jagged. And then on this account, I, I had a hard time to make my build because I just spent all my time on my other account and I had like nothing on this one. So I had to use the stuff that I had from PvP track and shit like that. And when I got this Great Axe at the moment, I, I did not even use it during a couple of days, but I kind of realized maybe I should try it. And then when I tried it, I find that it's pretty good. Like, you're going to see a lot of healer. They're going to dodge, like, very, very good player most of the time. They are at that level that they don't even need to look at their stamina bar too much because they are sink into the like they know how much time that it take for their stamina to go up but if you take them off guard uh, if they like you reduce their stamina regen rate they're just gonna use one dodge and path it gets time out uh, like not in one dodge but the, they're gonna dodge twice and then they're gonna think their stamina is going up and path they're gonna dodge one more time and they're gonna get stamped out and uh, on this build i have the wait, what's the name the exhaustive net shot too so i reduce by 37 percent the stamina region and then i hit with that and it go like a 47 stamina region if with that like it's a build that the people try to run away from, like mostly the healer, the mage and stuff. So it, it, it take them off guard and then they are slowed. And most of the time I can apply a slow on it. But I tested it today with a friend, Explosive Nuts, and it, it don't, uh, it only work against exhausted player. What exhausted player mean is so if you use three dodge, then you're exhausted. When your players does that, it's because you're exhausted. If you only use one dodge, it doesn't count as being exhausted. And if you hit a dude with an exhaust, like a, a per, like if I hit the dude with a net shot and then I hit it with that, he don't get a slow. If I hit it twice with a great axe, he don't get more slow. Uh, the you're only gonna get the slow when his stamina is out. So the biggest gain you're gonna get from that most of the time is the exhaust, reducing the stamina regen by 10%. But yeah, the exhausted and the exhaust are not the same thing in the game. Exhausted is when you have no more stamina and exhaust is when you reduce the stamina. So... Uh, what I've realized, like I say, it's mostly the the skilled player. They are so much used to, to do always the same thing because they play a lot that when they got exhausted, it's like the worst thing that can happen to them. Mostly a healer because he only have a rapier to escape. Like the rapier is a really good escape weapon, but under life staff, they have nothing else to escape. So they're going to have to stand in their sacred ground. And then they, they're going to start panicking. And uh, it, it worked pretty good for that. But when they are into their sacred ground after that, you use all your, your plagues. And it, it just... It, it's pretty good. I can kill most of the healer into their sacred ground. So, some are, are pretty nice. But yeah, when I, I hit the net shot and um, exhaust, uh, most of the time it's the end. It takes a moment uh, and then when the plague is on and all that shit, he just die. So for me, it, this is for sure one of the most underrated perk in New World. Uh, I think the best great axe for the Blunderbuss great axe build would be probably uh, Crippling Reap. 
vicious and exhausted exploitation or crippling rip uh, rogue and exhausted exploitation and yeah maybe attunement instead but the, you, you see like what i mean attunement is really good but uh, if good player gonna manage to regain some time from that um but when they get stamped out it, it's like panic mode for anyone when you get stamped out it, most of the time it's the end mostly against a build like that so uh I hope you guys are gonna try that. Uh, I think it's underrated metal, and even myself, it's, it, it would probably kill me most of the time if I get the, some exhaust on. Like you can see with the net shot, it's just OP as fuck. And um, I did not try with a ranged weapon. With a ranged weapon, it is the same description: exhaust. With target in the back, I want to know if with the blunderbuss, if you have exhaust on, or on any weapon, and you hit a target in the back, it work. But it 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 would not make sense with the way the game is made. But at the same time, that would be great. Like yeah, it would just make sense, but the game don't make sense. So yeah, tell me what you guys think about that. Maybe I'm tripping, but I don't think. Uh, I played a lot of hour in this game and I trained I try on many things and uh, when your build is made to catch up to people who are running away like Dex player, mage, uh just the light armor user or like the eater. I think this shit it's come handy and uh, maybe we don't use that enough. And I think the combination with like when you have the crippling weep, you have the exhaustive net shot, like there's so many slow into that shit, so many exhaust that you have some high chance to reach the exhausted and apply even more slow. And then if the dude is even more slow, then he's gonna stam out again sometime. Uh, and then you can burst him with like Maelstrom or like the BB combo. That shit is just insane when you think about it. For me, it did pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna keep like building that, but this, the next season is coming soon. So I'm just like, right now I'm stacking up everything. I'm, I don't really invest on my build. I really want to be ready for the next season to make a build. Uh, but yeah, overall that worked pretty well so this is it for this video it's kind of short and simple but you know there's some stuff we need to speak about sometime and uh, if we want the meta to evolve well i think this is one thing that can change in the meta and people can use that is pretty nice like it's a game changer in my opinion and i i did not try with the perk pool like can you have vicious exhausted exploitation and like um plagued crit all right you see what i mean yeah, maybe there's some combo out there that are kind of crazy and i think this part is is underrated because in the past there was only the the top one uh it, it was only against exhausted player but now they added this part if you would target in the back cause exhaust reducing stamina regen by 10% for 8 seconds and I think this part can be a key into fucking up people it's like uh, losing nimble like it's it, it, it's a lot and for 8 seconds it, it's 8 seconds is huge Let, let's see like exhaust so you see the exhaust from the shot is only four seconds but you can just chain them like when you have the um, uh double down on the blunder bus the it shot come back really quick so you your exhaust is uh, almost 100 percent uptime if you have like that shit too like it, it, it's kind of toxic when you think about it, it, it it's one of the most toxic build for fighting range in UL. When you fight like 
sword and shield and spear shit like that it, it's not the best build to do that it, it still work a bit but for the ranged is like the worst thing it, it their nightmare build to fight against is that build great axe blunderbuss and yeah i recommend to the people to try that it's pretty fun for pr and maybe it's gonna be the meta one of the meta until the next season five like that would be great like maybe people are gonna do it av and uh, not av medium and you know th there's gonna be some new artifact that maybe is gonna make it possible so i think people are gonna have to try it a bit so yeah this is it have a good day peace out